Hey guys, welcome to On the Great Couch. I'm Carmen. I'm Dan. And I'm Yi from The Run List. So um, this article was actually sent by uh, Dr. James Grime from Numberphile. And this is about the uh, riot after Chinese teachers tried to stop pupils from cheating. It's a Hubei province. And uh, last year they had like about 99 identical papers. So this year they're uh, extra strict about these students. And they had like 54 external examinators Exam examiners, yes, 54 external examiners that come in to um, basically like frisk the students and like, you know, go through their like clothes and like touch them and well, not touch them. It was like trying to get a terrorist to like, you yes. know, catch a terrorist And attack. they actually found a lot of things like they have cell phones hidden in their underwear. Oh, they have man. like erasers that have transmitters and they caught people outside yes. of the school that's trying to transmit answers to them. Oh, my goodness. So they caught all these people. And then so after the exam, all the students were all like crying and stuff to their parents outside waiting. So and the violated. Yeah, well, violated plus the parents, and the, plus they couldn't cheat. Yeah. So, so, so the parents were really pissed and started mm. to like, you know, go up to the teachers and, you know. And they were like, why didn't you let my kid cheat? Basically, and ended up with 2,000 people angry mob chucking stones and, you know, locking oh, all the teachers in. And do, do, is that how they asked it? Were they like, hey, why didn't you let my children cheat? Pretty much. I think Are that's no, 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 this yeah. is This is basically what they said. Um, they were chanting, we want fairness. There is no fairness if you do not let us cheat. That's, that's what crazy. That was their chant. So wow. basically everyone cheats. Yes. Yeah. They're saying basically that like cheating is an, in, um, you know, it's like a thing in China. It's inevitable, it happens, and if you do not let my c child cheat, then you are depriving him or her of that opportunity because everyone else does it. It's what? like a basic right thing or something like that. So do they cheat for every test or just this? It, I think the situation really is that they mentioned in the article, which I read, um, it, they said that the teachers, the kids um, usually have their teachers um, watch them while they're taking the exam, but the interesting part was they hired external people, so they wouldn't like these, it seems to me that the teachers allow these kids yeah. to oh. cheat because if your school does well, then the yeah. teachers will get oh, yeah, benefits yeah. as well. So basically, they they had like a third party, unbiased people come in yeah. to, right. to regulate. Mm -hmm. That's right. I was shocked to hear that the riot when you told me the story. I was like, oh, it must have been like the stu the school body rioting because the kids cheated, and you were like, no, the parents rioted. And I was like, the Shoot. parents and the kids rioted. <laughs> what? I was just like. Because like we, we all know like what this in, this test we all know like it's the most important thing mm. of their life. That's right. For their entire life, very different from growing, growing up in America. Like in all fairness, I mean I know a lot of people are like, oh that's outrageous, you know you can't like how can you say that you don't let me cheat? How can that be a thing? You know what I'm saying? And it's like why kids? Why don't you just prepare for your exams instead of relying on cheating? You know what I'm saying? But let me just tell you, those tests are ridiculously hard. Like. You could study and study and study and work your butt off and still not be able to take a good score. I think it raises another question. Mm. Like in China, everything goes by guanxi and bribery. Mm. Yeah. So Absolutely. for the common people, they're like, okay, if I don't have the money to bribe to get into a good college, mm. then I have to cheat. Yeah. Mm. That's mm. basically how they feel that that's the only way out. I, I did some research before where in America, you have about 7,000 universities, mm -hmm. and um, he, in China, you only have a, over 2,000 universities. And mm -hmm. you would think, oh, yeah, the ratios, you know, China has 1.3 billion people, and America has 300 million people. So, right there, the ratio is like 600 to 1 in China, college per student, and in America, it's like 60 to 1. So, mm -hmm. this literally is determines their future. So, mm -hmm. they go to any lengths, and I don't. I don't blame them for trying to cheat. Well, that that being said, though, I feel like, you know, obviously cheating is bad, but I think that really China, China needs to think about changing their system. If yep. This is, like, such a big problem. Yep. People are creating, like, little, like, you know, FBI stuff, to, you yep. know, like, to, you know, intelligence stuff to um, go, just to get a good score on the test. Yeah. Obviously something's wrong. Wait, and also, is this the first riot? Because I can't, do, do they riot all the time like this? Yes. How can this be the f if they've been cheating for many, many years or decades, how could this have been the first time it rioted? I think it's because in the article it said that this town specifically yeah. had an outrageous number of students with high scores. Like outrageous. Oh, like okay. it was noticeable and that's why I feel like and then since I mean since the riot made headlines it must be like kind of interesting. Well, um, tell us if you will you cheat if you took the Gao Kao or if you have ever cheated, tell us what you did. So the next video is pretty far in China and Yi um, actually reported it on the run list and it's about this Chinese man that rams into his son's car. So uh, let's watch this video. 
just so you guys know, E is a fan of Fast and Furious, so this I is I called it the Fast and Furious family style. Lame, I know, but... It true. works, though. It works. So basically, we see these two cars trying to cut each other off. Like, they're just, like, disregarding all traffic. Like, doing this, you know, scraping each other's sides. Like, you're like, who are these people, you and know? And it's a, in the middle of a very busy intersection exactly, as well. Exactly, exactly. And so what happens is, it turns out that, like, you know, the black car is trying to hit hit the red car and then we later find out that it's actually father and son and like they run across the streets across three <laughs> lanes of so, traffic so on foot they they crash into each other's car and they abandon the expensive mercedes A and bmw A exactly. and the dad chases the son yeah i mean initially before i found out that they were father and son i honestly thought that they were um like one person owed each other the, the other person right. money or something, like, or road rage like, or something. Yeah, yeah, because yeah, they seem like you know they look very rich. I mean, with the cars, you know, and then it's like, yeah, you owe me money or something like that. But it turned out it's just father and son. What can be that bad exactly. that you will ruin your expensive car? I can think of a middle. lot of things, some of which I probably shouldn't say on camera. Dude, I don't think my dad would like run try to run me over. That's like life and death situation in the middle of the road <laughs> and expensive car. Yeah, because no, that's think... probably his money. Yeah, that's probably his dad's <laughs> money as well. I'm just saying, like, anything could drive, like, it's just, to me, the more outrageous thing is that they totally disregarded traffic. I mean, there are other people on the road. Yeah, they yeah. would have been killed. Yeah. yeah. That's the thing. Like, if you, like, that's just funny as hell. If they want to do that somewhere else, I would just watch and laugh at their own, like, stupidity. Yeah. But to do that in the middle of a busy street. And there's, street, like, pedestrians and other yeah. cars and buses. There was a bus right behind them. It, and I could tell that the bus was like, what's going on? You yeah. know, like, ah, how would I go? Yeah. So they just did it. And, like, after they smashed their vehicles, they're like, you know, they get out of the car and they're like, I don't care if some other car hits this, these two cars because yeah. I'm going to chase my son on foot and that's what I'm going to do. And, and they didn't care if they got hit because they clearly just ran through traffic. <laughs> yeah. So what happened was actually the authorities caught both of them. Obviously, after they left their vehicles lying around and yeah. they were like, oh, stop it, you know. And then they asked them and then their cars were towed away and the authorities questioned them because, you know, it was obviously a problem. I don't think the, the dad caught up to the son because in the towards the end of the video you see that the son is way faster than the dad yeah, obviously but they, he, he he did get away with the authorities caught them and questioned them they were like it was a fam family feud about what we don't know you know but, oh, yeah, okay. I wanna, yeah. did, did they like did the authorities do anything about it no, no so this is what I wanted to mention is they're probably official powerful officials yeah like this is the only when I saw this I go I the first thought was their officials basically thinking that they rule the town and they won't get in trouble. We don't we don't know whether they're a, a, that that dad or the son is part of, you know, the government organization or anything like that, but it did seem like, you know, I think they have enough money yeah. to pay no off matter anything. What, yeah. You guys tell us what you think that uh, caused this family feud. And um, the last thing is our uh, hashtag ask OTGW section. And this question is actually quite long. And it's Michael from Michael Hrinda. I don't know how to say it, but I'm going to paraphrase it. So basically, um, he's asking us for advice. Mm -hmm. And every basically everyone, he's, um, he knows thinks he's Chinese, but he's Filipino. Mm. So he And he knows it's typical for all Americans to do that, but sometimes it gets really annoying. So he wants us to tell him if there's any uh, good comebacks or anything that you can say mm -hmm. to people who always think he's mm -hmm. Chinese. I've gotten... Are you Mexican? <laughs> I've gotten Filipino a lot. Michael, I feel your pain, and you know what? To my advice, just don't let it let it bother you. Like you don't even need to come up. If you're if you're a funny dude and you have a comeback, uh, you know, make a joke or something. Um, it could be kind of offensive if you're, you know, like if there were other uh, races, you could ask them like, "Oh, are you this?" But clearly, you know, they're not. But I wouldn't even go that far. I would just be like, "Ha ha, whatever." Because when you get older, you'll forget about all of that. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I don't think it matters anymore when you're old. Yeah, actually, um, because I'm from Australia and I was actually from a town that doesn't have a lot of Asians, but there was actually a big Japanese population. So whenever I walk out at the shopping center or something like that, they'll be like, Konnichiwa! <laughs> like, they will do that to me and I'm like, what the hell? And I would get pretty pissed off, but then yeah. now I don't care. I'm like, well, whatever. <laughs> what about you? Have you gotten yeah. mistaken? Uh, yeah, I do get mistaken a lot. But, you know, um, a lot of people just because I am Chinese and for some reason, I guess it's because people of the world think that Chinese people, there's a lot of Chinese people. So if you look Asian, they will automatically assume mm -hmm. that you are Chinese because just there's so many of us. But, um, you know, I have gotten pretty much, you know, Japanese, Korean, you know, the standard ones, never Filipino. But...
it does annoy me because when it comes down to it, a lot of people will ask you, and I'm not even the one who gets asked a lot. My friend who looks a little bit more confusing than, my, than me will get, literally when we go out, they're like, oh, you know, where are you from? Or like, are you from this country or this country? And you know, at first you say, like, oh, they're interested and you're flattered. But after a while you're like, okay, how would you feel? How would you feel? Say like, like, like a Caucasian person and like, you know, like, there's Caucasian people have are different in every single way. You know, there's like you know from different countries. You could you could be British, you could be German, you could be from another country. But what if you went up to your American friend and asked, "Hey, are are you are you German?" I feel like mm -hmm. for non-Asian for Asian people, mm -hmm. um, they don't really care what they don't have that curiosity thing. Like if they see a white person, that that person could be Spanish, any Caucasian, and they're just like, "That's what they're white. I don't care." But like. When what when non Chinese people when non Asian people see an Asian person, I feel like they're always like, so what are? It's almost like I saw this exotic creature, <laughs> and I'm like, you know, I, I don't know. That's the feeling I get, even in New York. My comeback would be like, ask somebody like some, uh, something that, basically, you would probably know the answer to, and repeatedly ask it, and then I think the other people would get the idea. Give yeah. them a taste of their own medicine. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. exactly. But yeah, I would yeah. say, I would say, like, unless they're, you know, I think it's one thing if they're like making fun of them for something, then I would probably take it a little more personal. But mm -hmm. if people make it, it's really common for people to not yeah. know what type of and Asian you are. People don't mean it offensively. They're yeah. just curious. Yeah. And you know what? If the, if it satisfies your curiosity, I will tell you, and anyone who asks, that I'm Chinese. Yeah, <laughs> I think we're all Chinese. Yeah, we, we are. Uh, if you wanted to know, <laughs> if you've been wondering, because people are like, oh, are you Mongolian? Or I thought you were from and Thailand. No, but then afterwards, sometimes people even ask even more. They're like, they're like oh, oh, what part of China? China? All right, that's it for today. Um, again, this is uh, Yi from Runless, so subscribe to, to our channel, it's new. And uh, if you have any questions, I mean, anything at all, hashtag AskOTGW, you can do it on Twitter, Google+, Facebook, YouTube, anywhere. And uh, thanks for watching. I'm Carmen again. I'm Dan. And I'm Yi.